So in this video, I'm gonna be trying out something that I've wanted to try for the longest time. Ready? Ready? Are, are you sure you're ready? Cause I hope you're ready. What the heck is this? Hey guys, it's me Noelle and welcome back to my channel. Wow, I have not said that in a hot minute. So yes, guys, it's been a little while since I've sat in this chair and just talked to the camera, so it feels kind of weird. Um, hopefully I remember how to act on camera. I might act up a bit. <laughs> I'm really excited to start making new content again for you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be trying out something that I've wanted to try for the longest time. It says here for now. Can you guys guess? Pause the video right now and guess what I'm about to try. You probably already know because you read the title of this video. Yes guys, I'm gonna be trying ink box temporary tattoos. I'm so excited. A little bit of background, I am tattooless, I do not have any real tattoos on my body, and I really want one, but unfortunately, my mom's not the biggest fan of tattoos, so I'm gonna have to wait a couple years, I think. But I think Inkbox is a really cool solution for people who just want to try out a tattoo, see the different styles and placements before committing to the actual thing. Alright guys, before we get into this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe button, and let me know in the comments down below if you have any tattoos, if you would ever get a tattoo, and if so, what would you get? Okay guys, let's get into it. So the very first thing I notice about this is the alluring packaging. I really appreciate the sleek packaging and also just the picture choices and the color scheme. It's just super visually appealing and I just think it has a cool vibe, man. I just want to get like 10 tattoos right now. So I actually got two tattoos. I got a little one and a slightly bigger one. I think I'm going to start with the little one because I'm a little nervous this is my first time trying inkbox i'm really excited once again appreciate the slick packaging look at that that is just ugh. express yourself love that okay in the envelope it comes with three different things so it comes with a primer wipe um some instructions which i definitely will be needing and the tattoo itself so as you can see i got a little cross and this size is one inch by one inch so it's a little teeny one and i've always been drawn to little dainty tattoos so if i were to get a real one this is probably the size i would go for on the instructions it says you can follow along with a video and it gives you the link to do that so it says things i need to know if you should shave your body hair hydrating your skin sweating will make your tattoo too blurry it gives you a lot of cool tips to know before the application process step number one says exfoliate area with primer wipe for 30 seconds this wipe helps smooth and hydrate your skin ensuring optimal tattoo application perfect because my skin is dry oh it smells it smells nice okay so cool little wipe here i'm gonna rub this wipe for 30 seconds Okay, so yeah, so exfoliating the area, um, this feels really cool. When she's with you, do you get deja vu when she's with you? Oh my gosh, okay, let's, uh, let's not do that. <laughs> don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> After that, you let it dry for 30 seconds. Now, it's time to apply the tattoo. Guys, this part I'm a little nervous for because it's a one-time thing, and if I mess it up, that's the end that's it for me so peel off tattoo backing and place it on skin sticky side down i really like how it's individually packaged like this oh no guys i'm like legitimately nervous for some reason i don't want to mess this up there's like a border and there's also an, a middle part you're only supposed to take the middle part off and leave the border so you can help yourself stick it on i'm placing it on my skin now guys should i I don't know. Okay, once I stick it, it's that's it, guys. That's literally it. Okay, I chose the position. I cannot go back after this. I think I did it straight. Imagine if it's not straight. Just imagine. All right, so now you're supposed to peel off the border. Sorry, guys. This is a terrible tutorial. Do you kind of see what's going on? I'm going to try my best. The, oh, there we go. Now you're just going to peel off the border. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then you just set her down. We're gonna leave this on for 60 minutes. I think it's really funny how it says avoid excessive movement and sweating. 
the, the movement part I get, but avoid excessive sweating. How can I control that? Like, what if I just sweat? What if that's just my thing? Sorry. Okay, um, I'm gonna do the other one quickly so they'll be done around the same time. I made that a complicated process, but in reality, that was very simple. That was <laughs> very user-friendly. Okay, next packaging. Oh, this one has a different message. It says, change is good, and I agree. That is a beautiful statement right there. Here's the primer wipe, and I'm gonna put this one on my forearm. This one will require standing. <laughs> Okay, all right. I forgot to show you what this tattoo is. So it's so cute. It says to love and, wait, does it? Oh yeah. <laughs> to love and be loved. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever heard in your life? So the instructions do recommend you shaving hairy areas of your body. And I do have a little, she has a little hair right here. So I don't know if I should shave I've never shaved my arms before. I think I did when I was little. I'm just going to do it just for safe measures. So, okay, she's a little naked mole rat in this area. So this one's gonna be a little harder because placement wise, I don't know, this one was hard for me and it's a tiny one. This is a whole sentence, like this is a whole phrase right now. I'm nervous about this one. I will not lie, I'm nervous about this one. Wow, if I'm this nervous about a fake tattoo that'll last like two weeks, I don't know if I could get a real one for the rest of my life. Pro tip, I think you need assistance while doing this for the bigger ones because there's only one chance to put this on and if you don't do it right, that's your life for two weeks. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You know how I said there's only one chance? I just lied to you all. There's only one chance to put this on. Did you see that? I literally like took it off. Well, anyways, I, I it's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Inkbox, if you're watching this, sponsor me because I really love your commercials. <laughs> I really like in your commercials how you like show the up close of them ripping off the borders. Like, can you include this in your next commercial? Yeah, thank you. All right guys, so both tattoos are on there. I'm really excited to see the results. I will see you in an hour for the peel off. I just took the juiciest nap. All right guys, it has been officially an hour. It is time to peel these babies off. I'm really excited. Just a forewarning, it says your tattoo will look light blue or green at first. It will darken 24 to 36 hours to dark blue or black. I'm gonna peel it off now. Oh my gosh. I most definitely made this one not straight. Look at this. I think I did it straight. Imagine if it's not straight. Just imagine. This is my arm. Straight and it's like slanted a bit but you know what it's still beautiful Ooh, okay wow pro tip guys if you're doing this by yourself you might want to have a friend help you out or even do it in front of like a mirror so you can see how things are positioned from an outsider's perspective just a tip now it's time to take the big boy off Whoa. Whoa. So as expected, it still looks blue on my skin, but I am super excited to see it develop over the next few days. I'm gonna let these babies chill. I'm not gonna touch them or mess around with them too much. And I will update you guys when it starts getting a little darker. I am so excited. All right guys, see you then. Hey guys, I am back. It is day two and I'm about to give you an update on how the tattoos are looking. Um, sorry about my look right now and my voice. I just woke up. <laughs> so yeah, still wearing the same shirt, but it is a new day. And guys, these tattoos are looking really cool. This is the one on my arm. And as you can see, it got very noticeably darker. It's only been about less than 24 hours, so it does have a bluish tint still, like it's not black. And I'm actually not sure if it's going to ever turn black, but guys, like, 
regardless of the blue it still looks real and it feels real and it just like i love it like i'm like about to get this for real man it's convincing me it is you got to be careful if you get ink box because you might get real tattoos afterwards i also do like the effect of like the faded look it looks crisp but at the same time it's like slightly faded so it looks kind of like more realistic which i really like for the tiny one on my wrist here it has a little bit of a smearing smudging situation going on i don't know if you guys can tell but it did smudge a little and i noticed that when i was applying it i think it was just the area that i chose like for some reason it bled more here like here zero bleeding no bleeding at all so could you guys see that it's like smudge which is fine I, I still get the effect you could definitely tell it's a cross still inkbox did warn about this it said like you remember the excessive sweating thing yeah i don't know maybe it was like hot in this area of my body and i started like sweating that is my first update i can update you guys tomorrow to see if the tattoo got any darker or if there were any changes at all but as of right now I'm loving inkbox like I am loving the look I feel so cool when I like stand in the mirror and I'm like oh hey oh this oh yeah you just got it <laughs> I'll update you guys tomorrow and I'll see you then hi guys i'm back so it's actually not the next day it's actually been a couple days because i've been super busy within these last two days so i'm so sorry i didn't get to show you the progress of the tattoo but great news it's looking amazing so as you can see the dark blue color actually turned into a black and it looks so much like a realistic tattoo since it's been a couple days it actually looks like i've had the tattoo for a few years now which is kind of cool i really like how inkbox does that so you can see how an actual tattoo would develop over time and look on your skin for this smaller tattoo on my wrist it's not doing the greatest it's actually faded out a lot quicker so as you can see it looks super faded out maybe because it's i'm washing my hands and it gets soap and water in this area all in all guys I'm really, really loving Inkbox. If you're unsure about whether you want a tattoo or not, or like the placement, definitely give Inkbox a shot. Only tiny critique I have is that the smaller tattoo, like this one on my wrist, didn't last as long as I would like. It hasn't even been a full week yet and it's almost gone, but that's probably because of my own body and sweat and whatever. So I guess it's not their fault, but that's just a tiny critique I have. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you guys like these kind of product review videos, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to do more. Make sure you hit that like button and sub- oh wait, did I say that in the beginning? Hit that like button and subscribe button. I don't- I don't remember. Thank you guys for watching and catch me with a real tattoo in the next video. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, bye guys. For real guys though, for real, for real, let me know. Is this not the cutest placement for me? Like just, I just feel like such a cool person with the tattoo right here. And also, I love what it says, to love and be loved. Okay.